In the 76th episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the new MSI H670 Tomahawk motherboard, Aza has a new series of liquid CPU coolers, Jonesbow unveils a new top flow CPU cooler and CPU-Z gets updated to version 2.0. We start with MSI and the MAG H670 Tomahawk DDR4 Wi-Fi, which is a new motherboard that uses the Intel H670 chipset, a chipset that has all the features you'd need except the overclocking functionality which is reserved for the Z chipsets. In terms of the design, it's what you'd expect from MSI and a motherboard of this caliber. It has an all-black design on both the PCB surface and the used heatsinks, plus the IO shield and the IO shield cover. However, that's all standard on all motherboards that are worth something. This motherboard features PCIe Gen 5 and this is available only on the top PCIe slot, which also happens to be the only slot reinforced with metal. For memory, this motherboard uses 4 DDR4 RAM slots and will support a maximum of 128GB of RAM. The frequency will vary based on what kit you use, so you will have to do your homework on that one. In terms of audio, the MAG Tomahawk uses the Realtek ALC897 and high quality capacitors. Unfortunately, pricing for this board is not yet known. We continue with ASA and their new liquid CPU coolers, the Blizzard SP240 and the Blizzard SP360. These two CPU coolers are based on the latest version of the Asitec design, which is why they will be available only in Europe to start. Both coolers use a pump which has a maximum speed of 3200 RPM and an infinity mirror with RGB on the top part of the CPU block. In terms of liquid and cooling, the pump is using Teflon tubes covered in rayon mesh sleeving. The tubes on both coolers have a length of 400mm and should be enough for most type of systems. The radiator used on these CPU coolers have a square frame and are made from an aluminum alloy. For airflow, the Blizzard SP coolers use the new Aza Hurricane SP Digital 120mm fans. These have a minimum speed of 700 RPM and a maximum speed of 2200 RPM. The bearing used is a typical hydro bearing and the fans have plenty of RGB to satisfy the RGB crowd. In terms of the pricing, the Blizzard SP240 is available for purchase for 100 euros, while the Blizzard SP360 is available for 129 euros. Next, Jonesbow has a new top flow CPU cooler, the HX4170D, available in two colors, all white or all black. This CPU cooler has a height of just 45.3mm and uses a single 90mm fan with a speed range between 600 and 3300 rpm. The CPU cooler has a weight of just 290 grams and it is made from aluminum and copper. The aluminum is used on the cooling fins while the copper is used on the heat pipes and base plate. Speaking of the heat pipes, the cooler has four of them, each with an outer diameter of 6 mm. Unlike other CPU coolers, this one has a solid copper made base plate, with the heat pipes making direct contact at the back of it. This ensures the best heat transfer possible between the CPU cooler and the CPU surface. The Jonesbow HX4170D is available in two colors, all black or all white. The white variant has an RGB fan while the all black model has no RGB at all. Unfortunately, the pricing of the CPU coolers is not yet known. And finally, CPU-Z, not to be mistaken with GPU-Z, has a new version, the 2.0 version. This one looks the same as the previous one, however, it has added support for all the new CPUs and motherboards launched recently. Other improvements involve the DDR5 RAM detection system and preliminary support for the new AMD Ryzen 6000 APUs. The software can already be downloaded on the official CPU ID website. And this is the end of the episode number 76 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.